Hello everyone, Syntax77 here and I'm back again and I got a new toy. Uh, today I just got the Sawyer Squeeze water filtration system um, and I am filming outdoors again because the weather is much nicer and more importantly um, I'm just too lazy to set up my lighting so uh, I am out here in the old backyard hanging with the dog again but what I got here we're just gonna check it out it's the uh, Sawyer Squeeze like I said just came in today um, I was hanging out the other day and my friend Mike must have been mad at me and wanted to torture me because he gave me his copy of Backpacker Magazine uh, the gear guide and uh, I said please God let me get through this issue without finding too much stuff that I need uh, correction too much stuff that I want and probably don't need um, and I think I kind of got through it pretty well but in the editor's choice section I was uh, kind of caught by this uh, little article here uh, about the Sawyer Squeeze and I said well let me look that up and what it is basically is it there's no pump or anything with this system it's a it's it's just a filter and a series of uh, different size bags and you actually just squeeze the water through there there's no mechanical parts that can fail uh, there's no pump to uh, fiddle with so it's pretty lightweight and less opportunity for stuff to break so I looked it up it was um, $60 list I actually got it for 50 which uh, I'm quite the cheapo so I was a little apprehensive about that but as filters go $50 is actually on the low end so I just had to suck it up and uh, deal with it the only thing I have really to compare it to is um, you've seen it in I think all of our hiking videos uh, Mike owns the MSR Sweetwater system uh, that lists for around 90 to give you a comparison of price so 50 not the end of the world when it comes to pumps um, and speaking of the MSR Sweetwater that is a three ounce I'm sorry this is a three ounce system uh, I believe that is 11 ounces um, but it is it, it's an awesome filter um, it's just you know comparing the two as far as weight goes you definitely get the win over here um, so let's just open it up checking it out for the first time uh, you can see the outside of the package here <sighs> sediment bacteria protozoa cysts and other contaminants are mechanically filtered out exciting uh, it's a 0.1 micron absolute filter with pore sizes so small that it mechanically removes bacteria protozoa and cysts just reading the outside of the box there so that's always nice um, got a ton of information in here let's actually get this thing open let's see I guess I'll be careful not to actually cut the filter bags so let's open it carefully let's see what is inside here so first things first it looks like we have our th I'm assuming our three filter bags in there and this is supposed to be able to hook up right to a regular standard water bottle and what do we got here? Looks like the actual... Uh, it's a Terumo syringe. Sterile use. Alright, we'll have to figure out what to do with that. And then the actual filter right here. There it is. Very light. Like I said, three ounces. And have to read the instructions before I mess with it too much but there you go it just has this little cap on the end um, and you can actually let's see that threading there let's see yeah it actually threads to a water bottle uh, that's actually where it threads onto the uh, bag size of your choice and your choices of bag are um, 16 ounce 32 ounce or 64 ounce depending on your preference. So let's actually take the rubber band off here and see what these look like. Alright, there they are. So, you got your bags there. 16, 
32. And the big guy, the 64 ounce, which compared to your hand is about that big. That's a big old, uh, big old bag there. Um, and that's actually where you can thread your choice right onto the fil filter. That much I do know without reading the instructions. And uh, then you would fill it with water and you just kind of squeeze it out into there. It's supposed to be actually faster than a pump, probably more comfortable. Um, a real life example of why this caught my eye and I thought it was cool besides the lightweight and the simplicity of it um, is actually something that came up in our New Hampshire White Mountains uh, video. And there was a situation where we were running out of daylight. We really wanted water, but we had to stop and pump it, but we wanted to cover ground. And we had this choice of, you know, how much water do we sit here and pump versus, um, you know, covering ground so we have more daylight to set up a camp. So we're gonna turn off some time and some daylight for this nice puddle of water. All right, Mike? Yes, sir. Filter it up, drop some iodine in it. Yeah. I mean, we have water, but we want to be safe. We want dinner. <laughs> the wind actually died down. But look at this storm over here. That's crazy dark line in the sky. I'm, I'm glad we're not on that mountain right now. In, in this situation, you can fill the bag in advance, right? You got your dirty water because the dirty water is in the bag. You fill the wa uh, water up and then you can get yourself to a safe location and at night in the comfort of your tent or once, you know, the sun's down and you got a flashlight, big deal. Then you can sit there and, uh, and, and filter your water after the fact. So let's give this thing a little test. Uh, I got a canteen of some water and let's pour some of that into a filter bag. I'll choose a um, small one, 16 ouncer. Um, so allow me to just fill this up here. Now I know this doesn't make sense. I'm going to filter back into this container, but I'm I'm hoping that you can figure out that this is uh, for demonstration purposes. So let's just get that. Take this here. Screw it on. And open the top, which could be your drinking spout, but in our case, um, I'm just gonna fit it into the canteen, which I've already checked it fits, and tilt it up. Let's see. I should be able to just start squeezing. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but I mean, I'm actually not squeezing that hard because it's the first time I've done it. I'm being kind of careful, but it just rolled right through there. A lot easier on the hands than pumping. And all done. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can roll through some water with this thing with no stress. That's pr I, I'm digging that. So that's about the gist of the whole system right there. You put water in a bag you squeeze it out the other end and you have safe water. <sighs> Can't argue with that. They actually do, there is some cool information in here. Uh, they actually do go into detail on, you might be wondering, well, $50 a lower startup cost for the filter, but what about um, replacement filters? You know, because that's a big factor. Um, there actually is no replacement filter system for this. Um, they go into detail in here, but they basically say, um, it's got a million gallon guarantee. You're not going to have to replace this filter. Um, if you're used to ceramic filters, compared to a ceramic filter, the cleaning ratio for this filter system is 20 to 1. In other words, the first time you need um, to replace this, you'll have gone through 20 of your ceramic filters. It has a backwashing system where you can actually, I, I'm guessing from reading this, run it in reverse, and, um, and that, that's how you can periodically clean it out. Um, you can also drink directly out of the filter. Um, I'll have to look into how to do that, but I was reading that in the magazine. And they got some pictures on the uh, package there. Actually, you can see that guy there. You, you don't have to wait to filter it all in one shot. I mean, if you're really impatient and thirsty, you can just squeeze it right out of the bag. 
um, into your mouth and it filters as it goes. Um, because there is filtration which will get all of your stuff I mentioned before, the protozoa and most bacteria and stuff like that. It's not going to get viruses. That's why people use the chemical treatments. Um, that will get your, your viruses which is probably from like uh, all kinds of fun animals in the area or stuff like that. But for the most part this system by itself is probably fine. There's plenty of debate on that I'm sure and a lot of people just do both. They'll filter. I know Mike does that. He'll filter and then he'll also add the drops. Um, which adds a little bit of that iodine taste to it, but I mean, then you're completely safe at that point. So, there it is. Quick look at the Sawyer Squeeze water filtration system. And hopefully, in the future, I'll get a video of me actually using this thing, but just wanted to show you what it looks like uh, straight out of the box. Till next time, Syntax 77.